What is up guys, it is your boy, we Messi 11 and today I have a returning series to my channel and it is a mid-season team of the season predictions. Uh, I did do this on my channel last year and a lot of people did enjoy me doing these types of videos because it gives you a sort of <clears throat> an idea who's going to, who if they can keep up their performances will be in the team of the season at the end of the year and if you disagree with anyone I've chosen, because there has been uh, some some good players, like some high-rated players you've, that I've left out, please tell me why. Because, you know, this is just my opinion, and I'd like to hear what you people think as well. Now, without a doubt, the goalkeeper <clears throat> has to be David De Gea, and he has been on point for Man United. He has been... He is the best keeper in the league, in my opinion. <clears throat> he has been fantastic, and if he hasn't played as well as he has, he Man United would be a lot further down the table. Let's be honest with you, because their defence isn't great, he has had to save Man United quite a lot. But on to the defence, we have Nathaniel Klein, and he has been a, f a rock at the back. So is the whole Southampton defence, to be honest. Nobody expected Southampton to be this good this season. They expect, okay, you thought they got some nice players in, the likes of Pele and Tadic. And, but, you know, didn't think that Southampton would be as a strong, as strong a team as they are. And Klein and Fonte at the back have been a really, really good reason for this. Because of their, their solid defence... I think they've kept, they've actually kept quite a lot of clean sheets, surprisingly. So these two are definitely in there. Fonte has been fantastic, along with Klein. You could have also had Bertrand as well, who has played pretty well. Also, next we have John Terry, and he's not the only Chelsea defender in the team. And John Terry and Ivanovic, in my opinion, have been sol rock solid at the back for Chelsea. They are. They're not top of the league anymore, as far as I know, but when they were, Ivanovic is probably is a very, very strong right back. He's very, very underrated, in my opinion. I don't think he gets enough credit as, as he deserves. And also, John Terry, everyone knows this guy. He's been scoring goals and keeping clean sheets. What else can you want from a centre-back? Your defender scoring goals and keeping clean sheets, you can't ask for any more. And on to the midfield, we have Alexis FC. And everyone knows that Sanchez has carried Arsenal this season. Arsenal would most definitely be in the relegation zone if they didn't have Alexis Sanchez. Now, that may anger some Arsenal fans, but that is my opinion. I feel that Alexis's goals has been so crucial for them that if they didn't have him, God knows where they would be. Next we have Cesc Fabregas and the Costa Fabregas combination. You know, Fabregas has got the most assists in the league and he does chip in with a few goals as well. And surprisingly enough, he is quite young. Compared to some of the older players in the league, you know, he's still got a couple of years left in him and it wouldn't be surprised. I'll be very surprised if he is not in this team of the season. Uh, Nemanja Matic, and he's been Chelsea's undersong, unsung hero. He has been the rock. He, you know, he doesn't get enough credit as he, I think he deserves. I, I think Matic personally is a fantastic player, but you know, he will definitely be in this team in this season because threat has been detected. Ha, because he has just been solid. He pass, he can score, he can. Very, very solid in the midfield. You can't get much better centre defensive mids than him. Eden Hazard, need I say more. He's having another great season. And I was thinking about leaving him out, but really Hazard has been another key player for this team, for Chelsea. And a lot of these players are Chelsea because they were top of the league at the moment, or at the mo making of this video. But, you know, I think City... They've only had really one or two good players. I've left out the likes of Silva, Yaya Toure, company. You know, City's defence has been dodgy. They've been leaking goals. And the only real player I could pick from their team is Sergio Aguero. 
We'll probably see David Silva in here as well, but I didn't put him in this draft just because I wanted to get this this person in because I thought he, you know, I just, I don't know, I just have a feeling he might get in. And Aguero has be, was fantastic for uh, Man City before he got injured. And obviously, Diego Costa, what can I say? What can I say? If he, if he could just control his anger, he would be fantastic. He he can pass. He can he can he is a typical goal scorer, and you know, if he could calm down on his anger issues, he would definitely be a much better player. We we have Hugo Lloris. The last few games and the last uh, all this season, he has been saving Spurs like Spurs and Man United don't have the best of defenses this season and the goalkeepers Lloris and De Gea have really really saved them in a lot of lot of games so that's why I've went for Lloris and De Gea. Uh, Winston Reid has been fantastic for uh, West Ham and that's the re the main reason that they're up so high in the table now. He has been solid at the back he has hardly put a foot wrong and he is definitely going to get a team of the season. A bit of a weird choice. I went for Morgan Schneiderlin. I don't I don't know. I just have a feeling this, this guy might sneak into the team of the season. I think so far this season he has played well. But we'll just have to see how he does in the second half of the season. Christian Eriksen. This guy. Poof, him and Harry Kane have been on incredible form. And he will definitely be in the team of the season. I will love this card to get a team of the season. I enjoyed his team of the season last year. And this year he was he has been just as good. Scoring vital goals and getting vital assists for Spurs. Keeping them in the run for Europe. Dusan Tadic and Griziano Pele. The two wonder signings from uh, Southampton. And what, you know... At the start of the season, not many people think thought that Tadic and Pele were going to do good. Now, they were signed from the Eredivisie. Now, so, obviously, it's not as a big league as the BPL. So, people thought that they were going to struggle in the Premier League. And, th and them both have been fantastic. I'm getting my words so mixed up today. But they've both been fantastic and thoroughly deserve a team of the season card. And finally we have Harry Kane. And he is, he is hitting form at the right time of the season. And if he keeps his form up, he will definitely be in the team of the season. Now, this is my team of the season BPL predictions. I will have team of the week predictions up tomorrow. Uh, I'll also have a new sprint challenge up. And I'll also have uh, another team of the season predictions up later this week. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.